Hi, it's great to be here. I've just been past this beer, which is significant because this is the first in a long line of beers with Richard. Let's have a taste. Mmm, Colonial Pale Ale. USA, Australia. Well, I'm not sure it combines any of the best brewing traits from either of those countries, but it does have British connotations. Okay, let's put that down for a second. Let's go on, on with it. <clears throat> we're talking about, basically in this, in this episode, we're going to talk about the big picture and then, you know, drill down on some stocks. Now, on the big picture, it's hard to go past interest rates. I mean, basically, they're you know, at the you know, headlines in all the major financial papers. But the thing is, they're not the headlines for investors because the big the big dogs of the investment world, the bond markets, are saying that they don't matter. Like be bench markets or don't matter yet. I mean, expectations and anticipation are one thing, but reality is another. And the reality is that the weight of money means that interest rates are very, very low. And the stock market shrugging off the news and inflation, I guess, means demand is rising. So nothing to see there for the moment. The bigger news possibly for the short term picture is that takeovers are on the up. We had the Sydney airport takeover and we had West Farmers making a bid for Priceline. So this reflects corporate confidence and strong balance sheets. What it also means is that infrastructure assets are at a premium. So especially gold plated infrastructure assets. But I guess beyond that, it means that you know you shouldn't sell in panic because you know people that bailed out of Sydney Airport haven't done well. People that bailed out at the onset of the pandemic haven't done well. So what I think you should be looking to do is buy a few of these big stocks for your portfolio, buy a few of them, but then use small caps to get that interesting growth angle. We we look at commodity sector and lithium's hot. It stay that way, but what global inflation is telling us is that demand for commodities is going to stay stronger for longer. On the valuation front, sure, we're, we're seeing a bit of a, a two-track market where there's areas that are hot property like BNPL, buy now, pay later, and people are paying over the odds like, you know, there's never going to be a bump in the road. We're already seeing the bump in the road coincidentally with some other players moving into that space. But the other area are the cyclical stocks that are that where we're seeing value. And we're seeing that reflation trade play out. What's good about small caps is that there's loads of opportunities outside of those two sort of specific areas. Because we can find value with growth. So, or growth at value prices, I should say. So that's a big deal. And that's, why is that? Because the tail of the ASX market is so big. There's just literally so many stocks. Time for a, a beer break. Here we are, advertised by Colonial Pale Ale, US Australia Brewing. Let's have another sip. And that leads me on to stock news. Because what we're looking at, are, uh, firstly, is one of those stocks that was um, you know, ignored by the market until it wasn't. AVO Risk, we tipped it at 18 cents this time last year, took profits five months later at 63 cents. It's now 30, it's been as low as 36 cents, now 44 cents, and we're seeing value again. Basically, it's a perimeter technology, it's its core business, but it has a very profitable growing sideline in, I think, um, you know, high value package transport. Think Jason Statham. Think of teams of Jason Statham's from the transporter. Not the best actor in the world, but he gets the job done. Um, this stock is maturing quickly. It had a major contract with the Indian Defence, and which provided it with cash flow. But what's good is that, like that, some of that hype is starting to become reality with their perimeter technology business. Um, what the market needs is a big deal, but the good thing is you're not paying as much for it at these levels. A, a stock um, they're holders of, which we've been positive on, is Select Harvests. We've covered that stock for a long time. It's an almond harvester. We're buyers originally, because this stock produces a product that's in high demand at low cost. The thing is, it's very cyclical. So you have to, you know, timing is, a lot more important with select harvests. I just heard a scream in the background, people must be trying trying this beer. I'm saying don't don't let that put you off, give it a go. And select harvests had a recent um, announcement which we covered, which showed that almond prices are starting to climb again. Now, you have to watch this stock very closely because it's similar to a miner. Um, one of our analysts is very close to it. 
and he thinks, okay, it might be a bit early to own this stock, but there's certainly value, select harvest, so it's one to keep an eye on. The stock that that same analyst picked in the teeth of the crisis was Seven West Media at less than 10 cents. I mean, that was like, that had a huge debt burden, a huge debt burden. But we picked it up as an accidental tourist in the teeth of the pandemic. So what we mean is it got sold off on concerns it was going to go broke. And that's what we're doing. We're looking for bargains all the time. And we're saying, okay, you know what? Some of these bets might not work out, but this one really did because we knew that a rebound in advertising was going to be fast and that these broadcasters really can take advantage of that and it goes straight to the bottom line. So having made five or six times our money, we're happy. That means the best returns have been made in our view and that at the moment, you know, there's a lot more risk in the equation. Like you have price risk and you have operational risk. Right now we see a lot more price risk, especially considering that, that that's an industry in structural declines. Sorry, structural decline. That's, that's what happens when you hit the pale owls, the colonials. Sometimes you can't find a decline. It becomes an incline. But in this case, it's structural decline. Take my word for it. And Colin, before I get to you know the what you're all waiting for, the review of the beer, well, next week's particularly exciting. We've got a report on Macquarie Telecom, which we picked at below ten dollars. Guess where it is now? Sixty-five dollars. I mean, this is this is the virtue of investing as a private in, as a retail investor. You can play the long game, and you don't you know you don't have to get scared by the bumps in the road, and so that's worked out. We've got a new stock in the energy sector coming up, which is really exciting because they're achieving huge production growth, plus they're getting increasing gas prices. And, uh, you know, there's our much-loved fund managers roundtable. Fund managers roundtable. Fund managers give us an exclusive insight into their stocks and you know the rest, you know, where the market's going. I mean, these, these guys do it for a living. We live it. That's the difference. So let's get back to Colonial Pale Ale. Well, I mean, I've had better beers, but once you've had five of these, it won't make any difference. That's the key. Cheers to, you know, happy, you know, happy times with COVID. We're going to get through it together. And I hope you're all right. We're thinking of you. Well, I'll be drinking to you. Happy days.